Hello there, welcome to another character profile, and today I'm going to discuss one of the longest running villains who has seen multiple interpretations throughout the years. This character is the Big Bad Wolf, and it's interesting to see how he changed since his inception. The Big Bad Wolf character dates back to the 17th century, where a wolf antagonist was introduced in classic fables such as The Boy Who Cried Wolf and most famously Little Red Riding Hood. His other most famous storybook appearance was in the early 19th century tale of the Three Little Pigs. In each story, the wolf is constantly going up to food, whether it be a little girl or some bacon. But of course, he gets beaten in the end. Though in the end of The Boy Who Cried Wolf, he gets off scot-free, as the title boy's constant lines lead the wolf to be victorious. With the emergence of the animated form, the wolf soon became a popular villain for that medium. In Disney's Three Little Pigs, he not only proves to be a major force for two of the pigs with his immense huffing and puffing power, he even proves the basis for his own theme song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. It would actually soon become a popular tune during the Great Depression as it bucked people up despite the immense poverty caused by the Wall Street Crash of 29. I'm surprised the 99% haven't used the song as an anthem either. However, it should be noted that one of the wolf's attempts to blow down the brick house really hasn't aged well. Well... Well, it was a different time, and uh, no, I cannot excuse that. That's just horrible. Moving on, with the popularity of this short, Walt Disney produced a couple of sequel films, one of which brought the Red Riding Hood into the fray, and another which gave the wolf some cubs. One director who really used the Big Bad Wolf character to his full effect was Tex Avery when he moved on to MGM. His first short at MGM, incidentally, was a parody of Three Little Pigs, with a World War II parody, Blitz Wolf. In it, Adolf Wolf is at war with the other pigs, and he, of course, gets his just desserts. There were many great propaganda cartoons at the time, and I think this one definitely stands as one of the best. One of my favorite animated shorts of all time is the absolutely hilarious Red Hot Riding Hood. Portrayed very excitedly, the wolf's constant lusting over Red provide the highlight of the short, and it's a clever twist on not only the original fairy tale, but also cartoon conventions at the time. Avery really pushed the boundaries of animation and what it could do on the production code of the era. From there, Avery's wolf would do battle with Droopy Dog, who definitely proved to be a very worthy adversary. The feud even continued on into the 1990s with the Tom and Jerry Kid Show. Heading over to Soviet Russia, the wolf was also a major villain on the animated series New Pagodi which pretty much followed the Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner formula, with a wolf chasing after hair and constantly failing in his attempts. Exploring different aspects of city life, it really utilized the formula to its full potential, and lack of dialogue allows it to work for even people like myself, who doesn't know any Russian outside of Dosvidenia. The Big Bad Wolf trope was also later utilized in Animaniacs, with Slappy Squirrel continuing to beat up another retired cartoon star and her nemesis from way back, Walter Wolf. One of the most memorable episodes of Slappy Squirrel was when she was in a heavily biased courtroom of walls in a trial where she is sued by Walter. And in true Slappy fashion, it ends up with her standing triumphant over Walter. However, in recent years, there have also been attempts to make the wolf sympathetic. In the Shrek series, they have probably put the wolf in grandmother's dress, leading to probably one of the funniest lines in the first film, and it was even parodied in Shrek 2. Fun little factoid, he was voiced by the series producer Aaron Warner. Steve Moore also directed the Oscar-nominated short film Redux Riding Hood, which has the wolf, as voiced by Michael Richards, not getting over failing to eat Lil Ren Riding Hood. Playing with time travel and a really sophisticated sense of humor, I highly recommend giving it a look. And that's only a highlight of the Bay Bad Wolf's multiple appearances in pop culture history, as he definitely stands as one of the most reusable villains, though I like the recent twisting that's occurred with this cliché. However, the best ones are always the funniest. And so, now, not many people are afraid of the Big Bad Wolf.